Hey guys, it's Riley, a Royal Spected over on Instagram and Poshmark, and today I'm here with like part 200 of my Goodwill Outlet haul from February. So uh, there were two parts to clothes, one part to shoes possibly, and uh, this will be part four technically, but I don't think I'm even going to title that now because who cares, these have been posted on my channel for like a month now, maybe going on two months when this video goes up. And guess what, I have one more Ikea bag full of shoes after this stuff. You can see a little bit of it right here. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a laundry basket full of shoes from the bins, as well as a reusable Target bag full of shoes. I have no clue how many pairs are in here. I really want to try and get back to posting consistently on YouTube. Uh, May and maybe you noticed somewhat in April, just videos weren't going up as consistently as they had been for the year 2020. I got kind of in a slump. Uh, in, I don't remember if I talked about this in my What Sold video. Um, I was not listing a lot in April. I definitely didn't have the motivation to be filming videos. But things are getting back to, I don't want to say normal, but I'm starting to feel pretty normal again. I'm starting to get excited about Poshmark again. I do, like I say, once or twice a year go through, maybe even more often than that, slumps, but this was definitely like almost a month long slump. So I'm starting to come out of that, starting to list again, and just getting excited for Poshmark again. So I'm filming this bin shoe haul. It has been sitting in my basement, these shoes have been sitting in my basement waiting to be hauled. I've been processing other stuff right now. I've listed all the shoes that I've already hauled. A lot of them have sold, which is great. I'm just gonna start showing you some shoes. So if you have seen the other two videos, you might know I paid $1.20 per pair of shoes. Um, that includes shoes that I'm going to take to Plato's Closet once they reopen, and the shoes that I paid for myself to resell on Poshmark. Okay, I'm gonna start with this pair of shoes I have sitting right here. These are a pair of men's areas. Ugh, they have spider webs on them because they were in the basement. Um, so I went back and forth on getting these men, they're kind of hard to show with, uh, okay, there you go. These men's area boots, I went back and forth on getting, they're super heavy. Obviously there's the bins rubber band. Maybe I should show you this boot without the bins rubber band. But the reason, so they're not in great shape. They have a lot of wear to the toes. Um, this, the shaft is in pretty good shape um, and the soles are in good shape. It's just a lot of toe wear, but I looked comps up and I think I can still make a decent profit on these uh, after I clean them up. I'm gonna see what I can do. Here is the logo for area. They make like a lot of working, like work boots and horse riding boots, I think. They make like a, oh look, it says they're equipped. So these are men's and they're dirty, but I'm gonna clean them up and hopefully make $30, I don't know. Okay, next, no, no, no. Dang it, these aren't on rubber banded, so it's gonna take me longer than normal. Okay, so these are a pair of Kelly and Katie kitten heels. Um, these are sold at DSW, let's see, there's the brand Kelly and Katie. You've probably seen them before. They're not very expensive shoes. Uh, the reason I picked them up, these look bigger. They're actually only a nine and a half, but uh, they have like the reptile. Well, I usually, I pick up almost any shoe that's in good condition that retails over, I don't know, 40 bucks. Uh, these would be a good clothes mentor shoe. If my clothes mentor wasn't so picky, I think most consignment stores would take these shoes. They're in decent shape, but I'll probably just sell them myself for like $15 to $20. I might list them a little higher to start. Did I ever finish saying the reason I picked these up is because they're reptile embossed and that is trendy right now. And these are, um, these shoes, I would put the word career wear and business casual in the listing. Although right now, I don't think people are necessarily looking for this style shoe to go to work, but you know what? I've been selling a lot of weird things. I've sold a Show Me Your Moo Moo Bridesmaids dress. I've actually sold two in the last like few weeks. I'm like, who's wearing these right now? <coughs> I think this stuff is all dusty. Okay, next. These are just a pair of white cats. And the reason I grabbed these, they're dirty. And so I have a bunch of pair of white sneakers that I've gotten from the bins that need to be cleaned up. So maybe I'll make a video on that, but there's so much stuff out there about how to clean white sneakers, especially white Converse, which is the same for pretty much any white canvas shoe. 
so maybe i'll make a video mm, i've done an instagram post before these aren't a big sale but i do have to spend the time to clean them up <sighs> okay oh no these get ruined because they were in the basement like they look like oh no well i hope i didn't get these ruined from just sitting in a basket in my basement i don't know why they would be ruined like what the basement did to ruin them Maybe they just need to be cleaned up. You don't even know what I'm talking about. They're a pair of dress barn, kin heel, tall boots. And so you can see what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, they look dirty, um, but it's not necessarily just rubbing right off. I think that I can clean them up. The other one's in fine shape because it was face down in the basket. But uh, the reason I picked these up is because they're in super good condition. Again, they're not going to sell for a lot, but I would put the word career wear business casual in there. I think Dress Barn is actually closed now. Definitely a brand I've barely, I've never picked it up at Goodwill to resell. Only the outlet, only a pair of shapewear, and now these shoes. So we'll see how these do. I can't imagine them selling for over $25. These are a pair of men's suede Tom sneakers and they have a logo on the back this is pretty dirty they're worn they're dirty but i'll try i'll clean this up and it will make them look nicer the suede you know the inside that's so funny the inside is super clean like doesn't look like the inside's been worn but the outsides they've seen better days uh however i think once i clean these up they will sell for 20 to 25 dollars but you know since they're from the bins i'm always willing to take less well, I shouldn't say always willing, but like, I'm not stingy with bins prices. Okay, these are a pair of Sperry's, which I actually found a few pairs of Sperry's this trip. I've already hauled, I think, two of them. These ones are fabric, metallic, tassel, sneaker, I don't know. Definitely, they're like more of a sneaker than a boat shoe. Again, Sperry's are not selling for very much. They're not as popular as they once were. Um probably under $25 on these guys, but they're in relatively good shape. They've been worn. Fabric's a little bit dirty, but I'll just wipe that up. Okay, here we've got another pair of Keds, which I'm not actually really a fan of Keds, but you know what, the bins will pick them up. Um, they're lace and eyelet, no, they're not lace, they're eyelet on um, little flats, sneakers, I don't know. Honestly, I haven't sold, I've sold like one pair of kids. Actually, that's not true. The Kate Spade Keds collabs do really well. I sold a pair of those for like 40 or 50 bucks. But other than that, I don't know if I really sold Keds. So um, I'm thinking 15. I'll probably list them at around $25 and expect like 15 to 20. They're in good shape though, especially for being white. These are something I feel like I could take to Play-Dohs and they definitely take, but um, I'll try them out on Poshmark first. Showing you the bottom of the shoes. Moving on, okay. These have seen a better days by far, but they're the newest label White House Black Market shoes, booties, ankle, teal booties. <laughs> um, the leather, okay, so the leather toe, super freaking worn, but I think I can get that in pretty good shape with Doc Martens Wonder Balsam. Then we've got the suede on the back, which not in great shape, but I don't think, honestly, it just looks like the suede is worn down, so I don't think there's anything I can do for that. But for the front of the toes, I can definitely fix those up. So these are nine and a half, and you can see this, oh my gosh, it's gonna be really hard to show. It's the newest White House Black Market. It's like in a square. That's the newest logo. And that's why, I mean, that's not why I grabbed them. I grabbed them for style too. So here's the other one, just as much wear as the first one, but I think I can get them cleaned up and sell them. Depending on condition, I think I can get at least $25. Usually if shoes have Goodwill price tags, I would share them because I like to know what Goodwill is charging. <laughs> Okay, so these are a Calvin Klein loafer, um, which is funny, I listed a pair of Calvin Klein loafers last night from the bins. Um, Goodwill wanted $7 for these. I would not have purchased these for $7, but I will pay $8.20 for a black, are they real leather? Um, I don't know, I don't think these are real leather. Patent, potentially real leather, Calvin Klein flat with the logo on there. These will probably sell for about 20 bucks. They're in better shape than the ones I listed last night. Honestly, I don't remember picking up a whole lot of this stuff. There's so many pairs of shoes and it's been a few months now. Okay, these are a Zara Girls boot. 
and not much to say. Uh, kind of out of season, especially since they're Sherpa lined, but I'll probably list them uh, close to $20 and take an offer, or maybe at $20. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so now we got some questionable choices. Uh, I'm not going to unrubber band these. These are just a boys or girls cowboy boot. These have a lot of wear, like a lot of wear. Maybe I should have left them behind. Um, but let's see what the brand is. Cowboy boots do good. Pretty much any brand as long as they're like real leather. leather. So these are real leather and they're the brand Old West. Um, so if they're like cowboy boots, um, usually leather sole too, but these aren't leather sole. Leather cowboy boots, uh, you can just tell if they're good quality. Will sell for at least 30 bucks usually. Uh, since these are kids, they're gonna sell for less, but I picked them up anyway. We'll see how much I get. They're definitely probably a little more worn than I noticed. Okay, so another pair of cowboy boots. These ones need to clean up. They, okay, I'll unrub the band with these ones. They're ooh, really dirty on the toe, but these are like an ostrich. I think that's what this material is called. It's like a ostrich when it's bumpy. A cowboy boot and they are real leather and they've got a leather sole. They've got a super pointy toe. I don't think they usually have that pointy of a toe. The brand on these is Lopez G Boots and they're from Mexico. So um, again, usually a good pair once they're cleaned up of cowboy boots will sell for like 30, at least 30 bucks. Okay, I think I went back and forth on if I was gonna sell these myself or not, just because of the brand, but they're not in bad shape and I figured somebody might be looking for them. They're BCBG generation, definitely a brand I will not pay more than bins prices for. Oh, my shoes are starting to stack up over here. They're just suede. They've got like a front buckle, crisscross detail, wedge heel. Um, not a lot on these, especially because like, of brand and out of season. Maybe $25. That's probably what I'll list them in the $20 range. Who knows? Maybe comes will say more. Ooh, a pair of Minnetonkas. That's funny. I didn't know I had any more Minnetonkas. Um, so if you have seen my other haul videos from this specific day, I got a lot of Minnetonkas, especially kids. And I do think these are kids. Yeah, they're size two. And these are a better pair um, than the other ones I have because they're the taller, fringy ones. These will sell better. Uh, probably $25 on these. Maybe, hopefully. What is on them? Oh, shit nuggets. That is a bag of spider eggs. That's disgusting. Um, well, I'm going to like wash those on the drain or something. Do you want to see? Can you see that big white dot? I hate killing bugs. I feel bad. Well, that was super gross. Glad I saw it though. Wash them down the drain. Oh, okay, we're not gonna think about it. Moving past the spiders, continuing on our haul, hoping we don't find any gross bugs. <sighs> what are these? We've got a pair of Nine West boots, and I think I considered taking these to Plato's Closet. You know, I might throw these still in my Plato's Closet bag. I don't like the style, and they have, I don't know. Okay, they're Nine West boots, and go to one at five bucks for these. So they're like a low booty. I think the reason I put them in my cell pile is because they're leather but I don't like the style. They have these two spots on them. So if Plato's doesn't take them, I will sell them. But I really, I think I'm gonna actually throw these in my take to Plato's. I don't know, they're in good shape though, other than the two spots. And those are surface level. I don't think I can get them out though. We'll see what I do with those. I don't know. If I do sell them, I don't expect a whole lot, like maybe 15 to $25, probably not even $25. Okay, next up. Oh, I'm really, I'm scared of bugs in this basket now. These are Cole Haan men's loafers. They have the original price in there for 140 bucks. I feel like it's a clearance clearance sticker though, so I feel like these were marked down. Um, they need to be cleaned up a little bit, but they're a men's boat shoe leather. I don't expect a whole lot for these. I'll probably list them at like 35 bucks. Oh no, it's scratching my finger to be worse. And less comes tell me otherwise. So, um, picked up these because I'm trying to add more men's to my closet. Here is, this is like this Kohan logo, I guess. I haven't really been showing you logos. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I grabbed 
these Clarks, they're definitely a more not trendy Clark style, but you know, there is a mature audience shopping on Poshmark. Um, so I will sell these hopefully for 15 to $25. Um, not much to say about these. I do like some Clark, some people don't. Goodwill one at $5 for them. These are girls' Uggs, I believe, or size six, because that's my size and they look like they fit me. Okay, no. These are size five. Size five low Uggs. And they need to be cleaned up, but you know, once they clean up, they'll sell for at least the high 20s, low 30s. Um, I wish that, you know what? I actually kind of want a pair of these, not necessarily the button ones. I don't think these will fit me though. Okay, this brand I think I looked up while I was at Goodwill, but I don't, or at the outlet. It's called J. Murphy by Johnson and Murphy. Um, but I could tell they're like decent quality men's, like dress shoes as well these are called they definitely need to be cleaned up a little bit men's leather dress shoes that uh just need to be cleaned up a little bit and i think the brand was good enough for me to purchase them obviously men's shoes are heavy uh goodwill wanted five dollars for these originally i don't think i would have paid five dollars for these but i got them in the bins okay another pair of men West shoes and you know what, Nine West Shoes, uh, I wouldn't pick up at regular Goodwill, but I just sold a pair tonight that I got from the bins. So sold them for 16 bucks, which is fine with me because you know what, I'm making like 13. And if I sell all these Nine West Shoes and make $13, okay. Nine West pair of shoes, they have this gold pointed toe detail. Not a whole lot to say about these. I expect, I'll, I'll list them at like 25 and then take possibly a $16 offer. Hopefully we find no more spiders, cause ew. I don't think I showed these, which were like the first pair of shoes I think I pulled out to make room. Okay, so these are men's Clarks boots and they're in really good condition. I think these will sell pretty well. Uh, I'll list them probably in the high 30s. Uh, not a lot to say about these, but I think they were a good pickup. I probably would have paid $5 for those at Goodwill. Oh man, the shoes didn't fit back in here as well as um, I took them out. Does that make sense? Why are they, this is so big. Okay, well guys, I have a few more pairs of shoes to show you in this haul and we're just gonna deal with this, I guess. So the next pair of shoes are these boys, I guess they could be girls, but Keen Kids Winter Boots. And they do have some tearing on this side, like right in here. But I don't think that's a whole, like, a big deal. I will disclose it, and I'll probably get, like, 20 bucks for these. Um, I don't know, though, if they're going to sell in the summer. Who knows? Maybe some mom shopping is hoping to get a good deal in the summer. Okay. These are super cute. I'm glad I got these. These are, like, a lace-up Banana Republic heel. Okay, so here's what they look like. They're lace-up, and then... They tie at the ankle. Hopefully I can find, oh no, the heel scuff. I really hope, I bet this happened in the bag I was keeping them in, the heel scuff there. That's obviously not a huge deal, but otherwise they were in super good condition. I have a feeling I did that when like trying to shove everything in the bag. Uh, I hope over $25 for those. I don't remember. Okay, we got some Aldo shoes. I got all those in the same boat as Nine West. Um, I, these would be, for me, you, like, okay, last year these would have been, I'm going to take these to Plato's Closet, but now I started listing them and trying them out, and there's, like, all these Aldo shoes sold, I sold, not these specific ones, I sold a pair of Aldo Silver Scalp Teals, those were in a haul, possibly in a what sold video, and they sold pretty well, I can't remember for how much, but I made at least a $13 profit on them, and a $13 profit at the bins is really good. And so these I'm going to list myself and sell. They're gold metallic Aldo heels. They are point toe and genuine leather. So mall brand, but definitely a profit to be made on a bins pickup. Wouldn't pay $5 for them at Goodwill, but I'll pick them up for the bins. What is in this bag? I don't remember. Okay, another brand I no longer pick up, pay full price for. You know, with exceptions. I actually haven't, I don't know, I haven't picked it up in a long time for full price. Uh, Goodwill. But these are Franco Sardo heels. Sandal heels. Okay, I would like to know, do you list these on Poshmark as sandals or as heels? I list these as heels, but I see people listing them as sandals. Um, 
whatever. I really like this buckle closure. They're in really good, great shape. Um, they were $5 at Goodwill. I wouldn't have paid $5 for them. I would have probably picked them up for half off, but I got them at the bins. Okay. Next. Up. Oh, okay. These aren't even, okay. So I got a pair of like brand new black high top Converse. Um, like brand new, good one wanted $15 for them, but these are not them, so they must be in the other basket that you'll see next. But black high top Converse in really good shape, like, oh no, they're missing a lace. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay. So, well, I'm gonna have to save these and list them when I can get a shoelace for them. They are a woman size eight, but you know, um, they have a band-aid on them. That's weird. Okay, so uh, if this shoe had the lace, <laughs> which I will do, I will find the lace for it. Um, I'll just have to wait till I get the lace. These will sell for at least 25 bucks, probably about $25 is what I usually sell high top Converse for. And they're in good shape. Oh, these were a good find. I was so happy to find these. So happy that I got these. These are J-Slides. And they're a sparkly metallic, well, I guess not metallic, it's just a sparkly sneaker slip-on shoe. Um, J-Slides, definitely a brand I would pick up at Goodwill for five to seven bucks, maybe ten, I don't know. But, oh, I love these. These are so fun. I wonder if my mom would want these. Oh, they look too big for her. Yeah, they're a ten. My sister would want these, but I'm not going to give these to my sister. I'm going to list them. <laughs> um... These are sold at like Nordstrom. They retail for over a hundred bucks. I hope, especially color wise, I hope that the metallic helps them. Um, I'm hoping to get over 35 bucks for these. Then we got a pair of shoes. I've never found this brand before. Oh, thank God. I have a piece of hair on my shoulder. I thought it was a spider web. I'm, I'm done with spiders for tonight. Okay, what was I saying? Never found this brand before. They are earth comfort shoes. Okay. Can you see that earth and it's like a laser cut wedge and you know what these are good for summer and i don't know how much earth sells for but i'm hoping over 25 bucks on those shoes guys we are down to a last few pairs last two maybe can't really tell okay these are in great shape so i only pick up toms the classic style toms at the bins now i don't i won't buy them at goodwill Oh look, these have a, okay, these were $19 from somewhere, it looks like a secondhand clothing store. They're in great shape, they have been worn, they're still in amazing shape. Okay, so these are an eight and a half black sparkle flat, and this in like really good shape, I would expect to sell over $15, probably closer to $18, and 20, 18 to $22, I'll probably list them at $25, $24 and take an offer. They're in like fantastic condition for being like worn. At last, we got some LL Bean duck boots and I'm not gonna un rubber band them. I just don't feel like it, I'm too lazy. We got some spider webs in there and I'm hoping those spider webs were from before I bought them at the bins. Okay. Duck boots too good. LL Bean is like the classic maker of duck boot, like Eddie Bauer, those brands. Um, Sperry ones do really well. These are the lower angle ones, which don't do as well, but I'm still expecting like 35 bucks on these. Although we're kind of out of season for these now. Who knows? I think I, they're in good shape. They'll still sell. A lot of these shoes are bread and butter shoes, I guess. They're going to hopefully profit me about 13 bucks. Um, why do I keep saying bucks tonight? I'm really in like, I don't know, like $13. So this is not the most exciting shoe haul compared to what other people sometimes find at the bins, but you know, I did find a few good ones in there. I think in this specific haul, these are my best uh, shoe. They're so fun to look at them on the camera. Uh -uh -uh. Now I have to work on getting these listed and then I will have the last final shoe haul that I got from this February bin strip uh, posted after this one that came out weird, whatever. So that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you get to go to the bin soon. I think we all hope we get to go thrifting soon. If you like reseller content, feel free to subscribe. I'm getting back on a more consistent basis. Depending on when this video goes up, I'm gonna have a what's old video um, coming for May probably in the beginning of June. I can't believe it's almost June. Time is so weird right now. Anyway, thank you guys. Bye.